Hello again everyone, Edwin Murray back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, we're going to be talking about astrology and the shooting death of Christian Glass. Now I know this happened over four months ago. I'm sorry for this being belated, very belated actually. The first thing I want to state though is I want to offer my condolences and prayers to the close friends and family members of Christian Glass, who I believe died um, you know, unnecessarily in this. Uh, he died as a result of homicide on June 11, 2022. He was shot uh, multiple times by police, which led uh, to his death. He also um, had been tased. He was hit with, I believe, with some kind of bean bags as well. He had a number of injuries sustained. Um, I believe this was excessive. Uh, force on this and, and, he, and he had he, there was no reason uh, for him to die but at least in my opinion now this took place um, in uh, Clear Creek uh, Colorado I'm, I'm sorry Clear Creek County Colorado at about 1230 a.m. Um, he was only uh, 22 years old at the time and you know somebody you know, so young you know, just to dissipate out of, you know, a person's life is terrible, but, you know, well, out of a lot of people's lives, I should say, and what I want to state, though, is before I continue with this video, is that I don't have a birth date uh, for, um, for Christian Glass, what this is going to be about, it's going to be about the chart, and the event chart. Uh, for this for his shooting death and if anybody has a, a birthday for him um, don't hesitate uh, to write me you can write me either on Facebook or you can uh, contact me at my Yahoo email at zodiacman1970 at yahoo.com and anyway um, the thing about this is in the event chart okay I got 29 degrees on um, Aquarius ascendant or rising and the 29th degree in astrology is the anoretic it's a, a crisis degree it can reflect the full culmination of that energy and you know Aquarius I mean you have Aquarius at 29 degrees somewhere it's, it can be very you know, amplified you know, very unusual or unorthodox and you know bizarre you know, type of, of energy but keep in mind this is a degree of endings and sadly you know, Aquarius is connected with goals aspirations in the future it could be one's um, future and um, it, you know, it can be at the 29th degree, you know, as far as saving symbols go, could be, you know, Aquarius can be a degree where one feels, you know, I don't want to say predominant or just feels like dominant. And, you know, that could have been, you know, the, the mindset or the persona of the police at this night, um, unfortunately. And, uh, and also, too, Aquarius is associated with electricity and electrocution. And, Christian Glass was um, was tased, um, you know, at this, you know, at the, there, you know, at the time of his shooting death. Now he didn't I don't believe he died as a result of that. He died as a result of the um, of the gunshot wounds. But anyway, and um, in 29 degree is a degree of endings, and sadly, a life did come to an end as a result um, of the shooting. Sadly. And also to um, the seventh house cusp, um, make, you know, of course, when you have the first house cusp at 29 degrees, the seventh house cusp is as well. And the seventh house cusp is at 29 degrees Leo. And I mean, the seventh house can have a connection with the law. And you, know, you have 29 degrees is the you know, full culmination, you know, of that sign and. Uh, you know, Leo energy, you know, negatively manifested, you know, can be very, you know, domineering, even arrogant, bombastic, feeling superior. And um, in the thing about it is maybe that's how this manifested on the night of this, you know, this shooting, unfortunately. And, um, you know, and again, it is a 29 degrees in astrology is a degree of, um, of endings and this is um, 
you know, looking at this, what I want to talk about next, I'm mean, looking at this you know, the chart you know, from pictorial looks. I could say that in giving it a pictorial look. Now, the majority of the planets are on the left side of the chart. And you know, this indicates generally more of a, you know, an or independent and self-reliant energy. Um, and I think when you, when you look at what happened on this night that, um, you know, um, both parties, the police and uh, Christian Glass, you know, were very pretty much, you know, what we're going to do what they were going to do as far as Christian Glass not coming out of the vehicle and the, uh, the police officers, you know, persistently, you know, stating to come out of the vehicle. So for everybody had their own, you know, their basic, you know, mindset at this time and it was very independent in, uh, you know, in the actions and, um, you know, in the thinking at this time, I would say. And, you know, the thing about it is to, another thing about, you know, given the chart of pictorial look, the preponderance of planets are on the bottom half of the chart. And this can suggest that the energy at the time of this death, the shooting death, was more subjective than objective. And it was likely more pessimistic than optimistic, you know, seeing things, you know, from a negative, you know, vantage point. And, and the thing I know it is too, you know, looking at um, the quadrants of the chart. Now, the majority of the planets um, fell in the first quadrant, which consists of houses one, two, and three. And this could indicate as well more egocentric energy. You know, the people in general in this event, in the shooting death, you know, may have emphasized, I would say, a little more self-aggrandizement. Um, people, again, were likely doing, you know, what they wanted to do more than what, you know, the other person, you know, really, you know, really wanted. Uh, Christian Glass was adamant about staying in the vehicle. And... The police officers were adamant about getting him out. Um, you know, there's a lot of controversy surrounding this event. You know, basically, there's people that believe that Christian Glass did not have to get out of the vehicle, but the um, the officers were very persistent in, in attempts to get him out of there. And um, the thing about this too is, um, I want to state is that um, the majority of the major astrological influences in the chart were in fixed signs. So that can suggest you know, the energy being very intransigent and placable. People were not you know, willing uh, to compromise despite all that persistence and negotiations. You had, um, at the time, you had Venus you know, being in Taurus. So there was a lot of tenacious very steady um, negotiations I would say um, at the time of this um, at the time of the shooting and also to uh, you have you know, in this um, you know in this uh, chart I mean, the what I call the event chart um, one one aspect that stood out to me was Mars and Aries um, conjoining uh, Jupiter and Aries now, as I've talked about in previous videos, you know, Jupiter, you know, uh, is paradoxical. It could be very benign and benevolent, but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand. And in this case, having Jupiter making a conjunction to Mars can certainly exacerbate or enlarge uh, volatile, volatility. You know, Mars is about actions. Aries is volatile. And it's, uh, Aries is very aggressive and assertive, so this enlarged, I believe, a lot of uh, you know, very uh, aggressive and um, assertive type of actions. And the thing, and also violence as well. Mars is connected with violence, and you have it being in the sign of Aries, which is the zodiac sign connected with volatility and violence. And the thing about this too is, um, you know, you have um, another aspect that really stood out to me was Jupiter and Aries making a tight in conjunct um, aspect to the moon and Scorpio. Now, in conjuncts in astrology can be um, about adjustments. Hold on a moment, people.
Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now, an inconjunct in astrology can indicate too much or too little of something. And um, the thing about this is you could have um, too much, in this case, of the law, which is Jupiter. And, uh, you know, being overly impulsive and impetuous, which is Aries, and not responding, which is the moon, uh, with more control. Scorpio is about control. And then really excessive, you know, volatility. You know, Jupiter could be excessive. Aries is volatile. And not enough feeling, which is the moon, like probing. And that's Scorpio. Into the into the situation where now the moon in Scorpio squaring Pluto, you know, even though the moon in Scorpio by itself can have control, certain control and power over the emotions, when you have the moon in Scorpio a squaring Pluto, that could indicate you know, some difficulty in controlling the emotions. And with the moon being in Scorpio at this time, the emotions could have been very you know, powerful, intense, and convoluted, and um, the sun in Gemini, you know, squared uh, Neptune and Pisces at the time. Now, this aspect by itself, you know, can indicate, you know, an unrealistic you know, picture of a person in um, authority. Now, the sun in Gemini, you know, may be difficult, you know, to understand. People that have their natal sun in Gemini, you know, people, you know, they they have very they could be contradictory, not easily understood as far as the basic character goes and you know the people you know that are in authority at this time you know the policeman as far as the perception of the victim may have been seen uh that way and um the thing is that again the gemini can be contradictory and then the victim perception of how he should have been treated you know maybe he had expectations or over idealized how the police were going to be treating him and the thing about this is and what happened um i think the one thing um you know one positive aspect you know, that on this day is that you had um you know the, the uh, mercury and taurus making a sex style to neptune and pisces and that aspect you know can manifest more of an ability to understand what happened. And it could be, you know, through film, which is Neptune. And Mercury and Taurus, you know, by itself can be positive for understanding things that are shown uh, visually. And it can also be auspicious for methodical learning. And the sex style to Neptune can be favorable for watching the footage of this incident and viewing it in a more slower, deliberate manner, such as seeing it in slow motion. And being able to grasp, you know, more what happened on this day by seeing it visually in slow motion. Now, Mars, um, you know, made a semi-square aspect to Pluto at this time, and to Pluto that is in Capricorn in the 12th house. And this may have manifested in maybe feeling intimidated, bullied, and coerced, which is Pluto, um, by authorities, which is Capricorn, which may have caused more fear and trepidation. That's the 12th house. And, um, but I want to get back, that's, you know, that's as far as Pluto and Capricorn in the 12th house goes, but let me be kind and rewind people. As far as the semi-square from Mars to Pluto, you know, that could, I mean, the glass had, I believe, had been shattered and broken um, in the front passenger seat. And, you know, Pluto is about force. Mars can be, I would say, can be connected with shattering, breakage. And you have that, you know, even though it's a, it's a minor aspect, it still may have had some effect at this time of this, um, the shooting deaths of Christian glass. And... It could indicate that maybe there was some ex that it showed certain excessive force being used, breaking that glass, that that aspect from Pluto um, to the semi-square aspect from Pluto to Mars at the time of this event. And the thing about this too is, um, what I want to get, um, and I think to going back to you know just Pluto and Capricorn. 
in the twelfth house by itself, it might have made his death a little bit more obscure. And I believe, you know, the footage on this was was dark. You know, best of my knowledge, it was harder to say you know, visually what had happened um, at this time. Um, anyway, just trying to look at this and try to move this chart around. Bear with me, people. Just say. And see if there's anything else. Well, the thing about this is I'm going to talk about, uh, I would say Venus and Taurus, you know, at the time of this event uh, indicates, again, likely uh, there were likely persistent negotiations um, that were, you know, going on, you know, at this time, I believe it was like they talked to um, Christian Glass, the policeman talked to Christian Glass for about 70 minutes. So there was extensive communication. And also I noticed that the ruler of the seventh house, which is the sun in Gemini, falls in the fourth house of the end of life. And the seventh house can have a connection to the law, you know, rules, legal matters. And um, and sadly they were, you know, had played, you know, they were you know, caused, uh, the police caused the end of life, at least one policeman that shot the five, um, I believe it was at least five bullets into Christian glass. Um, and also, too, that um, Venus made a conjunction to Uranus, and Uranus, you know, is associated with um, elect electricity and shocks, and he was tased, you know, on the day at near the time of his death. Now, I know that tasing, I don't believe, you know, led to his death, but it did occur near the time that he died. And um, also, um, can, what, what I noticed too is that, you know, uh, you know, the thing that we have to uh, keep in mind, well, I also want to say that um, the ruler, I should say the ruler of the, um, the ruler of the eighth house, um, you know, Venus, the eighth house of death. I may have said before, I'm sorry, I may have said before that the ruler of the seventh house made a conjunction to Uranus. No, the ruler of the seventh house, in this case being the sun in Gemini, falls in the fourth house in the end of life. But going back, going to his eighth house, the ruler of the eighth house, which is, um, which is Venus, and Venus being in Taurus fell in the second house, but house, I'm sorry, I could say in that second house, but made a conjunction to Uranus. And Uranus is connected with electro, um, electrocution, electricity, shocks. Um, and he didn't, again, he didn't die as a result of the tasing, I believe it, but he did, um, he was tased near the time of his death. And the thing I want to get at is, is that you know it's one um, you know fundamental you know rule um, is that you know it's imperative for those out there just for everybody that sees it's just to reinforce this a lot of you believe this already but if we haven't learned after this death and, and other deaths that uh, you know similarly at the result of uh, law enforcement but the fundamental rule is that it's imperative to get out of your vehicle if the police ask you to do so even if you think it's preposterous and there's no reason to justify this because it may save your life you know and the thing is um some of you may remember what ha what tragically happened with uh was it sandra bland i believe her name was in 2015 and she didn't get out of her vehicle after the uh, policeman uh, made a stop and persistently was asking her to do so, it led to a physical altercation in which I think she had broken her wrist in a, you know, a, a, a scuffle with the policeman. And she was brought, she was apprehended and brought to, uh, to prison and she ultimately died there. It was ruled a suicide, but there's some speculation that um, the cops may have killed her. No matter how you look at it, she would have likely been alive today if she got out 
when she was uh, supposed to, and this is, this has happened in other incidents too, is that you know the policeman now, for whatever reason, may be a little bit more impetuous, more impulsive than they were, than they had been in previous years. I'd say, especially around the last five, you know, five to ten years, it's more you know the impulsiveness of the policeman and volatility may be more prevalent, and people need to be cognizant and aware. Uh, of that Christian Glass would have likely been alive today if he had just gone out of the vehicle. I, I understand, I think there was some, like there was some marijuana that may have been in the system and or alcohol at the time and he was suffering you know, from, I think there was some, at least some mild, may have been some mild mental illness. You want, may want to confer that on the internet. If you go to wikipedia.org, you can find, you can see more information, you know, pertaining to his death there. But anyway, um, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. And until next time, Edwin Learned saying, stay well.